Okay, source it up here. Um, so I'm at my warehouse. I'm I'm doing some sorting, and I have to research a bunch of items, see if they even sell on eBay. I figured it'd be a good opportunity to make a movie and show, make a movie, make a video, and sh <laughs> and show you guys uh, how I research and price items. So uh, I'll start with this. This was uh, it's Journey Girls. It's missing one boot. So uh, I'm just going to look around this box here and see. It's Toys R Us. I'm just going to type in Journey Girls. And this is like Winter Adventure Set. Let's see what comes up. <clears throat> okay, so brand new. It's 30 bucks and 15 Probably shouldn't have bought this um, without the boot. Still gonna try and sell for ten. So I'm gonna put a little sticker here. Ten with ten shipping. Nah. It'll eventually sell. Okay. Next. <laughs> so uh, we have a lot of Hit Parader magazine. So. Real quick though, you see how um, all these are green? So one didn't sell and the rest sold. It's a desirable item, right? Um, it's a desirable item. And even here, this is just the skis. Yeah, this is just the skis that go to it used and that's $15. So I, I don't see why not this can go for $10, $10, $10 shipping. Um, so it's not the best, but we'll make a little bit of money, and and I'm pricing it based off that. So if this, if this was black, 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 green, green, right, then I would be much more skeptical of this possibly being able to sell because four or five didn't sell and one or two sold. In this case, a lot of them sold, and the only reason why this didn't sell was because it was priced too high. If they came down or did free shipping... They would have absolutely sold it just like the rest of these here. This is the only one here, but this was also, you got to note, this is around Christmas time. So uh, uh, it's not selling like that now. So if anything, this will might sit on the shelf for a little while, but it's pretty much a guaranteed sell. I'm pretty confident that this will sell eventually um, based on this that information. Okay, so I have the Hip Parader magazines. I have a lot of this, right? So I'm going to type in hit. I think I looked this up before. Okay. So a lot of these are auctions. And I don't even bother looking at them. Because if something doesn't sell on auction. it's um, So if I just did buy it now. Nineteen issues here. Wow, seventy-seven bucks. You see, so there is demand for it. Most likely, there's only five magazines there. He's charging seventeen dollars. Four, he's charging seventeen. So don't look at this as like, oh, this doesn't sell, right? Because he has nine here for eight dollars, twelve fifty each with free shipping. Here he's trying to charge seventeen for four. So you're talking about four, four dollars each, uh, four to five dollars each. So. Big difference there in price per magazine. So I'm going to count how many I have, and I'm probably just going to do it a dollar and change each. And I'm not going to do an auction. I'm just going to do buy it now. That's interesting because this is $77. Maybe it's because... Let's see. I ha it's 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 all rock, isn't this just a rock magazine in general? Actually, it may be not. There's three hip parader who's so this, you know, I'm gonna sit here for a second because a lot of twenty-one for sixty-five parader and musician. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I could just put it up for 20 and hope the best. Maybe I will do an auction because uh, and we'll just spread this out because this is all rock stuff, right? There is Kiss here. 
Ozzy Osbourne, Van Halen, Ozzy Osbourne. So I think, I thought this was just maybe a rock magazine, but I'm looking and it looks like this is just maybe a musician magazine and rock, there's some magazines that are rock. So these would actually be more desirable. They're a little scuffed up on the edges. So I'm gonna put auction 20 with, uh, you can't do magazines, media mail, or anything that has advertising, right? If it has advertising, you can't uh, do media mail. So that's the rule. So if you had, if there was a uh, so-called magazine with no advertising, like a, let's say a strategy guide or something like that, that would uh, qualify for media mail. But because it has advertising, it doesn't. So do 20 with 10. So what I'm doing basically, uh, oh, so... Um, a stands for auction. The 20 is the price that the auction starts at, and 10 is for shipping. So I, I've been experimenting a lot with flat shipping. Uh, let me just grab a bag. A couple bags. <laughs> Mario says hi. Uh, so I use these uh, poly bags to put lots in, especially with the magazines. Humidity can uh, get to them. They can get scuffed up by other things, you know, and even when we ship it We want to ship it in a bag anyway, plus it keeps it all together. It tells the person who's taking photographs This is a lot and so I just uh, yeah, Pop it in there the little notes there and uh, That's gonna go on That's gonna go on the case. So, uh, I'm sorry our eBay listing shelf all right, so if you haven't seen the warehouse video, I recommend watching that just so you guys have an idea of how our business runs and how this warehouse is organized. So this, I'm in the sorting station right now, and I'm just kind of going through stuff. It's going through a little slower because I'm making the video, but I really want to share this with you guys. So this time I have a... I'm having a hard time going to the camera right there. Brookstone dash case. Uh, pretty skeptical about this, I don't think, but let's see. Dash case iPad Air. It fits the iPad Air, but okay, yeah. This is this is junk. This where'd this come from? I think this came from a storage unit or something like that. I didn't buy that. I wouldn't buy that. That's stay away from cases unless they're like. What did I find? Like, let's say you find like a, a Gucci iPad case. I would pick that up. Otherwise, stay away. So I like experimenting with small. Oh, <laughs> almost dropped that. Um, with small China stuff, you know, and like little dollhouse, like little furniture and stuff. That stuff, some of that stuff is fire. So we got Royal Patrician England. Let's, let's type this in. So before I start typing in like teapot and this and that, I want to I want to see if this brand sells, uh, because if the brand sells, then I can just kind of skip and go straight for the teapot. So the brand, it's okay. It looks like some things are selling, some things aren't. So I can do like miniature teapot. Is this a mini? I mean, this thing is tiny. But I don't know if these are. Oh, three and a half inch teapot. Whoa! Look at that. That's 1962. How do I tell what year this is? It doesn't. Oh my god! I just broke it, this stupid top. Ah! Let's see what these sell for. Uh. Oh, this is Royal Albert. That's why. Anyway, this thing doesn't sell. Oh, well. Maybe anyway, I'll clean that up later. Jeez. Clumsy. I'll pick it up in a little bit. That is so funny. So now we got this one here. Homer Laughlin theme eggshell. What the heck? Homer Laughlin theme this is just, it's a grind sometimes. Homer Laughlin eggshell theme. Oh, look at that. 12. So I have, now there's only one piece. I'm not going to drop this. 
Um, <laughs> but that's interesting. Let's see. So I pretty much have this dish here. <laughs> it didn't sell. And this is a little worn. So experiment over. This doesn't sell. So let me just put that down. Got a couple more. You know, let me just look up like one more. I have I have a bunch of these things. Let's look up one more. Let's let's get lucky. Okay, so I have made in Italy. Okay, here we go. No cello. No cello. Espresso. Espresso cup. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Is this? This it's not even here. ACF. Let's try that. Let's try that. ACF Italy espresso cup. Okay, so here we go. So apparently that's just printed on there, and the brand ACF made in Italy makes these cups and I guess licenses them out or something like that. So that's interesting. So this actually now looking at it, I do have the plates. I don't know which one goes with it. Anyway, I do have the plate, but that's interesting. So what I would do is I would commercial grade. That's interesting, you know, because this has a cool brand name on it. Uh, do I have any more? No, they're all different. So I am going to list it for 10. We can do this first class, even, even with nice packing. 10 and 5. So 10 and 5. So basically, we have two levels of first class shipping, a $3 and a $5. And the $5 is stuff that's closer to one pound. So this, with packing material, is going to be that. And also what I'm going to do is grab the plate out. Oh, jeez. I don't have to break anything else. I believe this is the plate. See the square, square hole. Maybe I'll also do write clean on this. So some things need to be clean sometimes. And I'll just write clean on the note. And where's my bags? Here we go. This goes in a bag. I don't want it getting scratched or rubbed up against anything else. So, uh, plus it, it'll keep both of these together. We'll just uh, place it nicely on top of our magazines. I'll look up the rest of these later. And now we're on to a bent comic, but the title is Isis. I mean, that's crazy. So this is a DC DC comic the mighty isis and this is number two so this is bronze age wow that's old okay, let's see 19 so apparently the 1970s is the bronze age okay this is 1976 so yeah maybe if it was like minty but so this will go in like our lot of what we do with comic books is we get a long box, we fill it up, and then we charge calculated shipping. But usually somebody in a state or two over can afford that shipping with that size. And we'll charge like maybe 60 to 80 bucks. Sometimes we can even do local with that. I can even, you know, my my plan is at one point to or I hope I, I would love to get a retail location and just because, you know, I come across so much bulk stuff it might be beneficial to do that to probably pay for itself just in all the donations we do instead of donating them sell them so i have oh before I... so this is a uh tour booklet for a band called black moors night they are apparently rock and roll just thrashing over there black moor 
Ghosts Night, Ghost of a Rose to World Tour booklet. So that's <clears throat> what I would do. Okay, so the CD is popular. It's selling a lot. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to auction this. So it's a little, but it's not, it's really not that bad. I can probably just roll that back. Hold it for a second or two. You just don't want to bend it. All right, yeah, it's a little better. It's not that bad. I'm going to do auction 10 and 3. This is pretty in here. I think media mail has to be have text on the page and have at least be 12 pages, something like that. There's all these rules. But if you want to follow the rules to the T, I think that's something like that. But you got to look it up or I got to look it up. Um, so regardless, though, this is still first class, even if it is a media mail. So I'm going to do auction 10, 3. So again, auction starting at $10 with $3 shipping. On to the next. So this is interesting. We have a uh, Kiss Psycho Circus. Uh, 1998 interesting so it's a little mini poster so uh, psycho circus kiss tour poster let's see let's see I don't think this is gonna sell at all that's interesting this is probably Full size, full size poster. Yeah, I mean, oh, was that it? No. I think this came with the book. I mean, that's, I mean, look at that. That's the picture of it. But that's taller and it has the world tour. That's the book. So the book sells for 20. Yeah, this, unfortunately, I don't have, I don't get a lot of stuff to even do. Okay. The Who. Oh, and it has got the stubs here. That's pretty cool. Madison Square Garden. Let's see if there's any signatures. <laughs> I did sell, I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram, I did sell a uh, the same place that all this stuff came with. Came uh, The storage unit. Uh, he had a lot of rock stuff. Uh, there was one limited edition Who book. That sold, it was signed by them and everything. It sold for 260 the other day. So it's pretty cool. So the Who, this is a tour book again, I believe. The Who 2002 tour book. Flip. Book. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Concert program. That's what it's called. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I like it. This didn't sell, but uh, we have the stubs as well, which uh, which are pretty cool. That adds a little bit of value. Um, I'm gonna put it at fifteen three. We're gonna do medium L. This has more pages too. So fifteen three, and I'm gonna put with stubs. So just a little note there. As with stubs, if there's any questions, I'll just mention that they're right in the front cover, and we'll put it in a stack of stuff. Uh, just a couple more things. We have a, uh, I doubt this will sell, Rolling Stones, George Harrison. But you never know. Special edition magazine. Okay. It actually sells. Wow, pretty cool. So I am gonna list this. Um, it's not in the best condition. Has a has a crinkled. It's pretty good, but it has a little wear to the corner. So I'm just gonna do. You know, this is one of those things. I'm actually gonna put this. I'm making a huge bin of just three dollar items, and I want to experiment listing like five hundred three dollar items with three dollar shipping, and see how many multiple orders we get, because. If I list, let's say, 500 DVDs or 500 books that are similar in similar genres, or let's go with DVDs because 
those tend to maybe get more more uh, of a crossover. Because I do it a lot with Pokemon cards, and people buy multiple orders all the time. So if, what if I did it with other things? You can actually list all $3 items and have an average sell price of above $3. Because, you know, maybe 25 to 30% of the people who purchase are going to purchase multiple items. Especially if you have a buy one, get one 15, 20% off. Um, it, you know, so I want to experiment with that. Um, we do have access to large supply of uh, media so I would love to experiment with that but it's time consuming you know we're not going to meet our uh, 60k goal for the month if we're less than three dollar items all day so I have to be creative and probably just take photos of them all and have uh, you know the same description weight and price for everything and then have a VA maybe go in and take the title off of the pictures put it in there then I got to figure out a quicker way to list it. Maybe we can do the spreadsheet. You can upload directly to eBay. I tried that. And the most annoying part really is connecting the photos. Because if you want more than one photo, you got to you know, you gotta put the, the file name, the location. You have to host the images somewhere. It's kind of a big pain in the butt. And I haven't found a good way to automate that. I'm sure if I hire a coder... Uh, who's competent in, in Google Sheets or uh, just spreadsheets in general, Excel, that uh, probably get something worked out if anyone has any ideas on, on that. Because that's really like you might as well just list it for the amount of time it takes to literally write out or copy and paste the image names. And it's one thing if you have one image, okay. What if you have five images for something? You have to copy, paste, comma, copy, paste, comma, copy, paste, comma. You might as well just uh, do the bulk, the bulk listing on eBay. All right, so I'm putting that in the three dollar pile for now. <clears throat> um, yeah, maybe I'll uh, maybe we'll look up these married with children. What is this now comics? <laughs> All right. Now comics, marriage, children. I can spell, right? So I think this will be the last one, but, um, okay. Yeah. Yeah, this doesn't, this doesn't sell at all. This is going to go in our lot. So oh, let me just see. Here. Yeah, we don't have, we have three, six, and seven. We don't have number one. Um, and it's, they're not near mint mint. So, so you know, and the thing is, I look through completed listings, not sold. I should have probably started with that. I go with completed listings, not sold, uh, so that I can see how many didn't sell. Uh, and the main reason is I want to keep a high sell-through rate. I have about 30% between 25 to 35% on any given day or week throughout the month and um, and that's a pretty good uh, sell through rate for us keep good cash flow also get good prices for our items and not just you know blow things out at low prices so and the reason I'm able to do that is not listing items that maybe sell once a year or at all or listing it for the wrong price so just because this person sold it for four dollars here doesn't mean you can sell for four dollars there's condition there's this seller may ha ha have thousands of comics listed and this is part of a multiple order where they're like oh, i'll just throw this in they weren't specifically looking for it so you really got to be very careful with a lot of stuff like you see this this is number one near mint uncertified didn't even get one bid for less than four dollars and yet this guy down here sold his for 25 plus seven dollars shipping so you know, and that white pages, whatever that means. I don't even know what some of this stuff means. But with comic books, it's crazy, all the different things. But again, didn't sell here. That's I think that's the same one he posted again. So it could be their, their seller rating. It could be um, keywords. Whatever it is, comic books are, are not fun to... I've looked up thousands, and just a handful are actually worth listing. Um you know, once in a while we'll we'll find a sixty or seventy dollar comic, but that's not very often. So those just go right into the lot. 
So this is kind of how I like to spend at least an hour or two every day, just going through stuff that isn't obvious on where it's going to be sold and what it's going to be sold for. And uh, I used to not even put the sticky notes with the price, but then, you know, the person listing, they got to do the double work. So as I'm looking to see if it sells, I'm going to also throw the price in there too. It's so like little things that help save time. Uh, you know what? <clears throat> There's just one more thing. Let me look this up. Ross Homerson. And their, uh, this came from a storage unit. Their shoes, excellent condition. Let me type this. Oh, okay. Dropping things again. Ross Homerson shoes. Let's see here. Again, one sold pre-owned so this I mean look at these yeah I'm gonna list these but I'm not gonna list them for over ten dollars <clears throat> you know you see if we go here let's let's check this out I have actually never done this before let's be let's go lowest first Let's see. Look at all these. The all sold. Now the sell through rate's great when you're at the right price, right? When you're at the right price, look at all that green. Um, but then now you get higher. Let's go on the other side. So there's quite a quite a bit of green there. Let's go price highest. And oh, look at that. One did sell. Okay, these are new. Wow. I am uh, I'm speechless. <laughs> so apparently, the brand sells new pretty good. Either that or this is a practical joke. We're all getting raises. <laughs> Woo! So okay, let's uh, let's do used with highest price. Okay, so the boots, and this is where. Maybe they're certain out of this brand that sell well. What kind of picture is that? Interesting. Okay. So, getting the price right is so important sometimes. And I feel like when we... recent you know that also might have been near Christmas time a lot of those new ones but anyway these sell okay nothing crazy but now that we looked a little deeper I'm gonna price them a little higher than I would have they're practically new but the box is a little <clears throat> also this uh, the metal latch is a little uh, it's a little messed up, so that's not good. Anyway, probably just do 2010. Oh, I don't even think. I'm going to do 15, 10. I don't even think these are going to sell. Uh, I'll put best offer on them. I just want to get these out. Uh, 2010 best offer. Um, unused, unworn. Okay, that's that. So now I have a you know a stack of stuff. We got 15. We got 15. 35, 45, 55, 60, 70, 80 stuff in a half hour that we're going to list and this is stuff that would have gotten overlooked possibly donated or so you know nothing too glamorous but this is you know this is this is part of the business you know and a, a, the reason why we do as well as we do is and you know the things that we sell is it's just volume right so we'll get that one or two sales a week that are two hundred dollars plus and maybe another sale that's a hundred dollars plus and then a bunch that are 80 but a majority of our sale are items and just do 20 or 30 of those every day 
excuse me, and that's a good brunt of ourselves. And Amazon is a whole other animal um, because FBA is so awesome. Almost anything profitable that you'll make money on, uh, I'll send in. As you can see, it takes up a lot of space. It is very profitable. It is a lot of work. But if you're in a thrift store business uh, doing bulk and eBay or the thrift store shopping, uh, flipping kind of thing you know that the garage sales and everything having Amazon will help you get more money for a lot more things like new Legos certain books a lot of stuff prime will get you a lot more money for a lot more things plus you do not have to pack and ship it um, so if you aren't already selling on Amazon FBA just make an account um, let me get, let me know if you guys need help um, with or specific questions and uh, yeah, I'm going to end that here. Thanks for